Hi everyone, uh, it's Min again, Product Manager at Smart. Uh, today, I'm really excited to show you all of the great new features that we added to Smart Learning Suite Online. Um, so first of all, uh, we've improved the onboarding experience for the product. Um, so if you're a first time user to the product, uh, you'll see a lot of uh, new resources to help you learn how to use the product. Uh, or if you have a colleague who's, uh, who you're trying to um, tell about SLS Online, uh, you can show them these resources and you'll find that it really helps them kind of get oriented. Um, so the first resource um, that we've added is the getting started file. So this file now is uh, lives in uh, everyone's uh, library. So if you haven't been using it, Smart Learning Suite Online for a while, you'll find this at the bottom of your library. If you're a brand new user, you'll see this uh, lesson first thing when you um, start the product. So when you start the lesson, uh, it's a very quick lesson. Uh, it goes through the basics of how to use the product how to connect uh, as a student to see how it works with student devices. Uh, and then we show you uh, three simple activities uh, to kind of get you started. So a shout it out, uh, a game-based activity, match them up there. Uh, and then at the end, uh, a response assessment. Uh, and then uh, at the very end, uh, we kind of give you a couple of uh, options to, to continue exploration. Um, so one of those is an example lesson that we made. Um, so this lesson is actually much longer. Uh, it uh, represents a, um, a real lesson that teachers will build in Smart Learning Suite Online. Uh, and it really it has a lot of great content uh, that you can do a deep dive on the product in. So um, if you have time, uh, go and take a look uh, at this particular lesson. You'll see that it uses uh, a variety of the, the resources that we provide to help you uh, enhance and augment your lessons. Uh, another really great new resource that we have added is this training page. So we've had a uh, Smart Learning Suite Online, a very comprehensive um, guide uh, for teachers, uh, but we wanted to make it easier for you to get started. So we created this page here that basically broke down the functionality covered in that guide into kind of like a, a choose your adventure um, type of scenario. So uh, if you're just getting started, you can start at um, you know, number one. Uh, pick an option, um, one of the things that you want to learn. Uh, and then once you have that foundational knowledge, you can move on to two uh, in terms of how to create, enhance your lessons, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, so if you are a first time user, this will be a really great page to get started. It's not too overwhelming. You can just follow along with the steps uh, and you'll get to uh, really experience the product to its fullest. Uh, so I'll go back to the product. So that's what we've done with onboarding. Um, another thing that we really uh, improved on is the, the uh, richness of the creation features uh, in the product itself. Um, so previously, uh, you can bring in your lessons, you can augment them with activities or assessments, uh, but we really wanted to expand that uh, tool set. So now uh, you can see well, we have some brand new uh, UI to allow you to uh, create content uh, within the product and a brand new ad content screen. So, of course, you can get started by importing your uh, lesson, notebook, PowerPoint, PDF. Um, but now you can see you can also add uh, YouTube, uh, new page, your shout outs, your response, your game activities. And then this new section here on the ready-made activities, um, this really captures uh, common things that teachers would, uh, would add at the start of the lesson or at the end. Um, so I'm going to start by just importing a resource, as uh, I often do with my lessons. Uh, I'll bring in this lesson on uh, landmarks, uh, and then I'll show you a couple of the new features that you can use to augment that lesson. Um, so as it's uploading, um, of course, it'll be uploading the, the full lesson pages. And once it's uploaded, give a sec, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the start of my lesson, uh, and let's say today I wanna start with a YouTube video. So previously, if you're a notebook user, you had to do this in notebook and import it in. Uh, but now I can just click on my add button, uh, tap on YouTube, and uh, search for landmarks, city landmarks, uh, and do a quick search. You can see my search results show up here. Uh, if you're familiar with Notebook, uh, this interface will be very familiar to you. Um, so you can click on any of these videos, uh, and you can actually preview them right in place to make sure that the video is what you expect. Uh, and when you're done, just exit that out, uh, select the video, and click Add. Once the video is added to the lesson, you can see it shows up as a page with the YouTube video, uh, and you can play that video to preview it on a larger screen too. 
So one thing I want to mention here is just like in Smart Notebook, uh, the video actually plays ads free. So that's the, the nice thing about adding the video um, in Smart Learning Suite Online. Um, so another thing that you could now add is the ability to uh, insert just the, um, a new page into your lesson. Uh, so this will be good if you wanted to kind of um, leave yourself a visual reminder. So uh, one of the things I like to use this for is, let's say I have a, a lot of activities in my lesson. Uh, maybe I want to just create a page to remind myself that this is the point of the lesson where I want my students to go, uh, go off on their own and uh, do activities. I can just add a a new page you can see it comes with text that you can go uh, double tap and edit so maybe I'll just say activity time there we go uh, and then you can also add a description so this way um, when you're going through the lesson you hit this page it's just a quick reminder to let you know maybe you can switch your lesson from teacher pace mode to student pace mode and let the students go off on their own awesome cool um, and then the last thing I want to touch on uh, are these uh, ready-made activities. Um, so I'll just first off show you some of the activities that we have in here. So the idea for these activities is that we want to make it even faster for teachers to just add in content that you can use in your lesson. Uh, and we worked with our, our training team on identifying lessons uh, or activities that teachers commonly use. Um, and one category of activities uh, is ones that you typically use after your prior knowledge. So these are the things that you can put at the beginning of the lesson uh, to get students to think about the topic uh, and you know tell you what they want to learn. So there are common ones like, uh, here we have a shout out activity. It's pre-filled with the categories, know uh, what you know, what you want to know, and what uh, you want to learn. Um, uh, as well as uh, just some very quick activities to check uh, student uh, understanding. So. Here you could uh, you know, uh, have a statement uh, and then insert this activity here uh, to get students to answer whether they think the statement is true or false. Um, so you can see once uh, I just one tap and that activity now is in my lesson uh, and uh, I can start using it. Uh, similarly, with questioning and reflection, uh, we have uh, also a variety of um, pre-created activities that you can use. Um, some of the, my favorite ones are uh, some simple ones, right? So here's a response activity um, that's pre-filled with the options whether students agree or disagree, uh, how they feel about a certain topic. Uh, and if I scroll down, uh, you can see we also have a variety of handout activities uh, that has some really nice templates for doing things like exit ticket, um, you know, share three things you've learned, or uh, my favorite is actually the six word summary, which is like a, a more structured way of uh, uh, summarizing um, student learning. Uh, so yeah, so I can select that uh, and add it to my lesson. Uh, and you can see when I hit preview, there's really nothing you need to go ahead and do. It's just a template that's uh, ready to use. Uh, you can just drop into your lesson and use as is. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a quick overview of the, the new features that we added in the product. Uh, I'm really excited uh, to share these with you. Uh, and um, um, look forward to more features coming in the new year, uh, and uh, yeah, happy holidays everyone, thank you.